Hi everybody, welcome back to DayZ. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do on PC servers, so that's PC remote community servers, like Nitrado ones, or on your local server, uh, how to do a partial wipe. So I'm going to show you how to do a, a character wipe, so you just get rid of the players, um, and they have to start again on the coast. Um, or, um, how to get rid of all the buildings, all the stuff that's been placed on the map with a partial wipe that way. I'll, I'll share it to a full wipe as well. Now, at the moment, as of recording on the 7th of October 2022, on console, there's you can't recreate this technique. The only real thing we can do on console is if you want to wipe everything, um, the, the kind of official way to do it is to do a reinstall, which would include, basically, you know, if I quickly show you, you would... Um, you would go to configuration profiles, you would save a conf configuration profile, a new one, that, that'll have all the settings for your server, you know, the server name, um, all that sort of stuff. And then you would uh, basically reinstall the server and that would wipe everything and give you fresh files and then you um, you would then restore the, the server config and your server would get its name. But, and at the moment, that's the only thing you can do. The, you, there are some other things you can do with um, in your globals, but I won't get into those in these videos. However, on PC, we can just partially wipe things. Um, so what I'm gonna do is let me show you on a local server first. So this is um, the uh, file structure of my local server. In fact, if we go up one, you'll probably see. So we've got Daisy server here. If we click into it, there we've got all my um, mods. If we come down here and we go into the missions, and if we choose Chernerus as the map, you see you've got these storage folders. Here we go, storage underscore one. So if we go into there, the two, play two players, the two <laughs> kind of bits we're interested in are players and data. So if you delete the data um, file or folder and then restart your server, what will happen is all the bits that have been placed on the ground, like tents or structures, will, will disappear. So, so they'll be gone. Um, if you do it with players, um, the players will all be gone and they'll all respawn at the coast or up north if you're on Livonia. So nice and easy and just restart your server. Now, you may well have to stop your server, but with a local server, you'll, you'll definitely have to stop it to make it work. Probably recommend you do that with a remote server as well. So let's look at a remote server. So this is a Nitrado PC server. So what we would do is we would stop the server, then we would go into the file browser and then we would go into, in fact, let's get to the top of this file structure. So it would look something like this. Click on Daisy standalone. Find the missions folder. Again, we're gonna do Chernerus. We go into this one. There's the storage folder. There we go. So if we just wanted to delete the players, we would delete the players.db. Well, stop stop server, delete the players db, and then restart it. If you wanted to delete the structures, we would delete data. Or if you wanted to do both, you could do both, and that would leave other stuff where it is. Nice and easy. Now, if you want to do delete everything and kind of start again with players and structures um, and um, loot as well, what you want to do is you can actually just delete... Um, the storage folder so we go back up here so if I was just to um, hit delete there uh, th that would delete everything and what happens is when you restart your server um, as part of the server startup process it looks at you all these folders and if not there it puts them into place um, and that would then um, that would then delete all that sort of stuff just remember that when you do this it's not reinstalling any new XML files or JSON files or game files so this isn't how you update your server it's purely a wipe for cleaning up your server or in the case of with them um, when 1.19 comes you probably I mean it's totally up to you what you do but one of the things that you I would I would do if I was on a PC server is I would wipe all the structures so people can keep the stuff they've got in their ca characters inventory but yeah I, I would wipe all the structures because with the changes to the map in terms of you know physic physical changes that map getting higher and lower and trees being there and being open areas and new buildings being in place it could be that the existing buildings that people have put up or tents and things like that could well clip into to things and that that would be yeah, a bit naff, wouldn't it? Um, but if you delete everything in a fresh wipe, people would have to completely start again. But at least this way, you can say, "Look, I'm going to do a partial wipe. I'm just going to wipe the structures, but whatever you've got on your in your inventory, you're going to be fine." So pick everything up <laughs> and and have it there. 
um, and then if you wanted to you know do a, do a complete wipe and reinstall all the XMLs as well then you do it the same way that we said with with console so you go to config you know create a new config so it's got all the settings for your your, your um your uh, server and then you would do a reinstall and then you would restore the config and then upload any custom XMLs you've got okay so hopefully that's useful hopefully that kind of gets some people ready for the 1.19 update or in the future if you're watching this video after that um, if you've enjoyed the video hit like if you want to see more the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon